Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing um, the readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be your love readings uh, for the middle of the month of December 2019. Uh, this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I did want to give you guys a little more insight, so we're going to be using the shelf, and we'll jump right into the cards to see what spirit has for you guys in regards to your love and romance. So let's get with your reading, Pisces. Let's see what spirit has. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019 in regards to love and romance. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. So right in the present, um, I do see that there is, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing a bit of blockage um, as we do have two cards, one, uh, sorry, not cards, two shells, one facing up and the other in reverse. Uh, so I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a bit of um, lack of communication or perhaps uh, not being or feeling like you can be completely honest or open with your partner. Um, now, for those of you guys that are single, uh, it does speak to me directly about being very closed off Pisces. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that um, because you guys are so good at actually picking up on people's energies, perhaps you're very quick or hasty to make decisions and not really open up or not really allow people to open up with you or towards you when it comes to love and romance. So what they're saying is that there is a need for you to be a little bit more open. For those of you guys, again, that I said, directly speaking to those of you guys that are single and have been single for a while, what Spirit is telling you is that you need to be a little bit more open. This could even represent having to be more open in regards to getting out of your comfort zone. So do I do highly encourage you guys to be a little bit more social. Uh, you know, put yourself out there for those of for those of you that are looking for partnerships, because I do see that there is opportunities coming towards you, as we can see here in the very near future. Um, but again, a lot of you guys are currently uh, dealing with blockages. Um, for some of you guys, it could just be that you yourself have created, like you're very guarded, you're very much um, not really open to connecting with people. Um, and I find that very, very um strange for Pisces because I know for you guys it's naturally it's almost like organically you guys connect with people very quickly um, but I do see that you are actively doing this so it could be like being guarded for some of you guys it could be that you came out of a relationship that perhaps was very difficult for you uh, to get over so for some of you guys you may still be dealing with that um, now if you are currently dealing with a person from the past uh, that either came back around or you're still in communication like there's not a, you guys haven't really given each other space what spirit is telling you is that you need to open yourself up again like I said keep yourself um, open to new opportunities and new connections as I do see that someone in this relationship or in this partnership may be a bit closed off uh, so it's almost a feeling of like going in circles, um, a never ending cycle. So again, don't put all your eggs in that basket. Keep yourself open um, more than anything. Now for the very near future, what I do see is I do see a partnership here. Uh, for some of you guys, I do see going into January. Some of you may be either thinking or desiring or wanting to have children or wanting to start a life um, uh, with your partner. So I do see elevation of um, elevation of status. So status to me represents like from being single to being in a relationship. For those of you guys that are in a long-term monogamous relationship, it could be stepping it up into an engagement or moving in together. But I do see also here um, that there's going to be talks about pregnancy. Now this could be directly towards you, Pisces. Or it could be that someone within your close-knit of family will be getting pregnant and they'll be announcing that in January. Um, now, for the very near future coming towards you, again, like I said, I do see a uh, partnership or a person coming towards you in regards to love and romance. 
And this could be a person that is very close to you or that you know who they are because perhaps they're around your inner circle. Um, this person can also be a water energy. So it could be another uh, Scorpio, another Pisces like yourself, or a Cancer. Um, and they also do have a lot of Earth energy in their chart. Doesn't necessarily have to be their sun sign. It could be their moon sign as well. Okay. Now let's get into your reading Pisces. Fertility is what they're telling me. So for those of you guys that are not trying to uh, have children, definitely take care of yourself because I do see that um, that will be coming that will be coming or be very evident for the month of December going into January. Uh, and for those of you guys that are trying to have children, now is the time to actually get it going as I do see you guys being very fertile for the month of December going into January. Okay. All right. Let's see what your cards tell you. Okay. Pisces, you have the magician card and this is your current position. So the magician could represent uh, seeking uh, a lot of spiritual enlightenment. Um, for some of you guys, it could be even taking journeys or taking on uh, perhaps uh, finding a mentor or someone that's going to guide you to being more in tune with yourself, even that of manifestations or bringing, um, uh, bringing into fruition um, whatever your endeavors may be. Now, the obstacle here is the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles does represent having to make choices, but it also represents having to find the balance. Now, for some of you guys, I feel that like the shells, um, having to open up is something that comes very natural to you, Pisces. But because if you can see here in this picture, there is a lot of water here. But what's resonating very strongly here at the bottom, you can see like the rocks. Um, so I feel that for some of you guys, you may be feeling like extremely emotional, uh, extremely moody. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you are extremely guarded. So it could be the, it's like the, there's no in between. You're either extremely emotional or you're extremely guarded. So that's what keeps you from being able to connect with people or even finding the person that is more ideal for you in regards to partnerships. So I feel that for the end of December going into January, balance is going to be very important for you guys. Now in your past and passing, you have here the chariot. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing or uh still dealing with a cancer type of energy. Um, and if you can see here with the two of pentacles and the two uh, the two horses in the chariot card, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be feeling or being pulled towards two different people. You may actually be dealing with two people. Now, in the very near future, you do have here the temperance card, and the temperance is all about being patient. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, Pisces, um, specifically, obviously, because it's a love reading, specifically when it comes to partnerships, you need to be patient with yourself and try the best you can not to get very wrapped up or very hasty when it comes to making decisions, especially if, in fact, you are dealing with two people. Uh, the temperance is all about being balanced, but not only that, being patient being patient, being able to make decisions with a rational mind and not so cluttered or confused. I feel that there is a lot of healing that needs to happen for you Pisces out there. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that for the month, I, I want to say the end of December going into the beginning of January, there's going to be almost a feeling like perhaps you and your partner are taking two different paths. And this is almost like what they're saying is there's no problem to that. It's just finding the balance of it. But I think that for a lot of you guys, you may be very much in your head. Uh, as an example, if you are finding it to be very important to include spirituality in your life um, and you're wanting to start new endeavors or going to, as an example, going to healing sessions or um, Reiki, learning about Reiki, anything like that, um, it's very contrast to what the life of your partner is at the moment. So even though it may feel like you guys are kind of drifting apart, what Spirit is telling you is that all you guys really need to do is find the balance to be able to 
uh, continue fortifying and strengthening the relationship. Now, what's on your mind here, Pisces, is the Seven of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, um, the relationship or the partnership that you're in uh, may have a lot to do currently. You guys may be dealing with things that have to do with the finances, uh, perhaps not doing as great, or perhaps your partner having a bit of difficulty. It is a general reading, so keep that in mind. Um, so there is a lot of, I see a lot of potential here for you guys uh, when it comes to your partnerships. Now, those of you guys that are currently single, again, with the Seven of Pentacles, you may still have uh, feelings or you st still may, are currently, I should say, currently still going through perhaps a separation or a breakup that recently happened where you keep looking towards the past um, as this is your crowning energy. Now, yeah, see, this is the Five of Cups. So I feel that for some of you guys, those of you guys that are single, perhaps that's the reason why you're extremely closed off. That's the reason why you're not really giving the opportunity to people because you're still healing uh, through, through this separation or through this ending of relationship. Now, your advice card here is the Star card, Pisces. So the star card signifies, this is directly communicating with you um, in regards to spirit and understanding that a lot of the times uh, relationships don't work out, not necessarily because one or the other was lacking or one or the other loved each other less. Uh, the star card symbolizes faith, having faith and understanding that a lot of the times people come into our lives and the reason why they come is not particularly because they will be staying for a very long time. Uh, sometimes they bring with them lessons that we need to learn um, and move forward knowing because you're walking towards something more crystallized, understanding and knowing exactly what it is that you need or you want in a relationship. And I think that if anything, what the, car, what the star card is telling you here as an advice is have faith, Pisces. Have faith not only in yourself, but have faith in if there's uh, any type of circumstances in your life at the present that it just seems like there's been blockages and you haven't been able to overcome, it's like Spirit is saying they are trying to see how strong your faith is. So surrender to this process. And the easiest way to do that is just to have faith and understand that things will fall into place the way they're supposed to. Now you do have here the Page of Pentacles. So there is a communication or a message coming through. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be, if you guys have children, it could represent um, a child coming towards you or wanting some type of help. For some of you parents out there, it could just represent like uh, having to, um, I don't want to say spend money, but it's almost like an investment. So for some of you guys, it could just be directly speaking about the holidays and the, the overspending. Um, but for others, it could represent that a child of yours will be needing some type of assistance from you. Now, you do have here the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is in the position of your hopes and fears. So here's the thing. When it comes to relationships or partnerships, Pisces, it's very important for you to understand what it is that you need, what it is that you expect your partner to bring into the relationship. And if you feel that at this point in time, uh, you're no longer interested in the partner or the person that you're dealing with, or perhaps you've kind of grown tired of them, and it's almost a feeling like a feeling of like maybe it's greener on the other side type of energy, Spirit is telling you be careful with that. Be careful with running or rushing into a decision, especially those of you guys that are dealing with two people rushing into a decision where you may actually uh, be sacrificing or losing the opportunity of something more, something extremely stable versus something that is more temporary. For others of you, you may, de may be dealing with an Aquarius or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Now, you have here the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords is a lot of anxiousness, a lot of worry. Um... I feel more than anything, I feel that for you, uh, Pisces, there's a feeling of like time is passing by 
and I have to make decisions now, but it's more in your head. This is more, yeah, you guys have to keep in mind that swords are always mental, how we process certain things. And this is a feeling of like perhaps looking into your life and perhaps even wondering like um, at this point in my life, I, you know, always envision to have this going or uh, to be married or to have children by now, that type of energy. And it's almost like it's so crucial for you guys to make decisions that are going to be long term. And what spirit is telling you is, hey, Pisces, you need to understand at the end of the day, we can say everything we want to make happen. But it's, you know, of course, it has a lot to do with what the universe has in store for you as well. And if you haven't or you're not in the point of your life where you thought you would have been by now, be patient with yourself and understand that it's for your higher good. OK, now I'm going to be pulling out one specific card for you guys. And this is uh, directly a message from spirit to Pisces. OK, let's see what the card is. Wow. See, see I kind of seen uh, some of you guys dealing with an earth sign. And what the card is, your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. Beautiful, beautiful card. And this is all about sustainability. This is all about long term. This is all about hard work. We're going to get what we deserve. We're going to get what we've been waiting for. But it's going to come not as easy or not as quickly as you would want. And perhaps that's the reason why you're very anxious, Pisces. It could be because you feel like time is of the essence right now, um, like you're feeling inside of you, in the core of you, you're feeling like that importance of making decisions because perhaps you feel like it's going to alter your life, which it will, but what Spirit is telling you is it's not going to come easy, so you have to be patient with this. And New Moon and Capricorn, again, Capricorn is an Earth sign, and it's ruled by Saturn, which signifies you're going to get everything you want, Pisces, but it's going to come at the cost of hard work. Saturn uh, is very beneficial and very giving. See it as, you know, the father figure. It's not going to give you everything you want in the moment you want it, but it will give it to you when you are deserving of it. So perhaps some of you guys, it could be that you're still putting in the works when it comes to uh, partnerships to bring that person that is more ideal for you, um, you're still having to change certain aspects about yourself or change certain bad habits to be able to go towards something more long term, not only that, but to be able to attain a relationship that is much more suited for you for the long run, that it's going to make you a better person, that they're going to, that you're going to make them a better person. So very, very beautiful cards, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other in January. I want to wish all of you guys a happy new year's. Um, Merry Christmas and happy new year's. And we will be talking soon. Till then, bye.